This video is an introduction to the meta-rigging system, which I've called Rigify. Um, we've been developing this for for Durian, and also with the new developments in Blender 2.5. It's written entirely in Python, and it's taken about whew, four weeks, maybe two weeks bug fixes, two weeks on actual features and rig types. So I'll start off by adding a single bone. Now, the way that the meta-rigs work, I call them meta-rigs, but... Um, they're just very very simple rigs, and you tag you tag the bones with a, a certain a certain type. There's a new panel here, and uh, this is this is also in Python. Um, so let's just start with a simple type. Sign this bone as being a finger. Try generate the rig, and it says that it needs two children without a fork in the chain. Okay, add two children. Works better if you have the axes aligned. And generate. Okay, so it makes this uh, this finger with the constraints and uh, the drivers. While working on this system, I needed to understand the rigs a little better, so I made a made it graph uh, graph the different rigs. The red lines are constraints, blue lines are drivers. Okay, um, you can even copy it, try and generate it again, and you have five fingers. So to do this manually, you can imagine it would get quite tedious, and particularly if you wanted to do updates or changes. Um, now, try a more complicated um, type. You can also access the the rigs from here. Um, with sample with sample meta rigs because it isn't always obvious through the error messages what you what you would want as a base rig so we'll try uh, a leg and uh, I guess just look at the graph quickly you can see it's quite a simple quite a simple rig and generate now we have a rig with the IK and IK FK blending got that heel um, there's a few other things too but I think that's that's all you need to see really and uh, oh well you can look at the graph for the for the output so this is getting a bit more complicated so I took Nathan's rigs and looked at these graphs and looked at the rigs and basically recreated them in Python um, so really with this rig the only thing it knows is that this bone is tagged as uh, as a leg biped, and then it expects to have what is it three children, one detached child, and a parent. It doesn't actually look up names or anything like that. It just it just looks up the relationships. Um, so yeah, I added quite a few types, um, but it got kind of tedious to make the the different types sort of I keep opening the different files so within the user interface you can you can generate a sample of all of them here we go and so this is each each base type it's a quadruped leg um, it's kind of a generic bendy bendy rig but it, um, it's applied to the neck and this chain can be any length or any number of bones in the chain for instance you can Subdivide it. <sighs> Regenerate. Just adds the bones in there. Okay. Um, however, even these rig types separately are not entirely useful. So, even though it's a bit lopsided to have just a human meta rig, I've just added this in. Kind of more as an example, I'd like to have a basic, a basic human since this is quite complicated, um, and a basic quadruped, things like that. Anyway, this is the meta rig, and we can just um, generate that straight away. So it takes all the different tags. There will probably be I don't know eight or so tags, tag bones, and gives us whoa. Uh, a fairly complicated rig. It might not look this comp. Well, it wouldn't look this complicated if we didn't have all the layers visible. So you can see just the last layers 
all these different layers, but um, anyway, I just kept them on just so you can, you know what's what's there. Okay, um, so another advantage to this is if you have this rig and it doesn't fit your character, which is quite likely, is you can go in, oops, is that edit mode, okay, you can go in and change the proportions, just turn mirror on, and generate the rig again, and you've got this updated rig, which I think is quite powerful. You should be able to to do things very quickly. People who don't want a rig, who just want to animate, should be able to get in and make decent animations without having to understand the drivers and all the complexity. Oh, may as well just show the graph of this rig because it's quite incredibly complicated. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, luckily, I didn't really have to understand all this stuff at once. I just had to understand the spine, the the leg, the arm, all by itself. So yeah, uh, the yellow, the yellow uh, areas are the the original bones, and those haven't been touched. The parent relation, parent-child relationship is uh, is kept. So this is all well and good. However, we do want to apply this to Sintel. So I've got an example. Uh, here we go. And generate the rig. It's the same as before, pretty much. Just need to. <clears throat> need to tell the modifier to use this rig. Let's put these in a uh, these in local view. So okay, FK switching. Okay, anyway, Nathan's done some examples of his rig, so this is basically Nathan's rig that, um, that's been automated. Uh, I hope this was useful. Thanks. <laughs>